on the frame of phone so if you're hearing me, no worries. So I'm trying to get less of my background in there just in case the cat tries to come through. <laughs> That should be, that should be a-okay. Right. And I'm thinking if I keep my phone here, uh, can you still hear me okay? You got it, perfect, everything sounds awesome. Okay, okay, awesome. Then we'll go ahead and get started, it's 1130. So, welcome to BAR. I am Becca. Um, I'm the new program manager. So um, I teach bar a little bit, kind of like most bar places do. So uh, pure bar, uh, bar three, bar none, all of that. So hopefully something a little different than what you're probably used to um, with other bar classes before. But I guess it's okay. So again, you'll just need a small pillow. I can just keep moving this around. Okay, it'll just cut off the top of my head. I got a big forehead anyway, so that's totally fine. Um, so we'll go ahead and get started. So hopefully you guys can hear me okay. You can hear the music all right. You're going to start just in a wide stance position here. We're going to come down nice and slow and reach up just like that. Good. Get nice and deep in that low part here. Reaching up. In five, four, three, two. Last one. We're going to then reach over. So it's just a reach and bend, reach and bend. Good. Doing a nice plie here, just reaching to the side. Maybe three, two, one, switch sides. So it's just a reach, bend, reach, bend. Three, two, one. Hold that low plie position here. You can put your hands on your head. You can hold it out to the side. It's all up to you. Get nice and low. Pulse it out right here. So I'm going to turn to the side so you can see. That butt's still tucked up and under, so it's not back. Wide leg, 
squat here that we had, our second position squat, that's where we're starting. So we're just going to come here. We're just going down and up and make sure you're squeezing those glutes. Out. Enjoy the squats while they last because when we start to get into the pulses and everything, you're going to want these back. Keep squatting. Give me five, four, three, two, last one, hold it. Pulse, pulse. I'm going to back it up just a little bit so you can see my feet. I'm noticing they're not in the picture. So and hold right here. Hands can stay on the hips. So then you can go out, but we're not coming out of that low squat position here. We're just going to lift down, lift down. Good. We're just going to speed it up. Lift, lift. Five. Four, three, two, one, just up and down, up and down. Flush out those quads a little bit here, some movement. So the top of those legs should be on fire right about now. Mine are just a little bit. Three, five, four. Three, two, one. Hold it down. We're going back to those pulses right here. So it's just a small movement in the knee. We're not coming all the way up. Just a nice little bounce. Now instead of one and one, we're doing both at the same time. So hold it down. We're going to go up, down, up, down. Make sure that back is staying straight. Upper body is up. Not tilted over. You start to feel a little bit of a stake in those legs, try to get up. If you would like to keep it here, you can. Give me three, two, one. Hold it up high on this toe. Stay in a nice low squat here. Give me five, four, three, two, one. Bring it down. Wiggle them out a bit. Wiggle them out a bit. So. Not done with the quads, we're not done with the pulses. If you have water close by, feel free to get it at any time. I'm very bad about taking water breaks myself. So get it when you need it. So bring those heels together and come up in a tight releve here. So the heels are going to be touching. Hands are going to be on your hips. If you need something to hold on to, um, find like a chair or something that's loose that you can bring beside you and just hold on to it. Um, or if you really want to challenge that core, don't use the chair at all or start to not use the chair. And then if you need it later, just bring it in. So heels are going to be together. We're going to come down to a squat, back up. So those heels are going to go, those heels, those knees are going to go a little bit over your toes. And that's totally fine because we're up in a relevant position, protecting our joints here at the knees. So again, if you need a chair, you could be holding on to it right here. Or a wall is fine too. Three, five, four, three, two. Last one, hold it down, and we're just gonna pulse. Lots of pulsing and bar. It's that isometric movement that is what makes it so efficient and so just like burning. It's <laughs> like all the movements just burn. Give me five, four, three, two, one. Bring those knees, knees down. Bring those ankles down just for a second here. Come back up. Come back down to that low squat position. Heels are together still. Bring the knees in. Bring them out as wide as you can. So bring them in, then bring them out. So you're going in and out. 
in and out. Put those heels together. Again, if you need a wall or a chair, just hold on to that. Almost think about there's something in between your legs and you're trying to squeeze it and break it. You're squeezing those thighs together and pushing back out. Three, five, four, three, two, one. Hold it here for five, four, three, two. One, bring it up and out. Roll out those ankles if you need it. We're going into some lunges. Um, so I'm going to turn down the music just for a second because I feel like it's overpowering me just a little bit while I talk. Um, so for this next bit of movement, there are jump squats in there. If you do not want to jump squat, feel free to come down to a low squat or you can rise up on the toes. So instead of jump squatting, you can come here and up on the toes instead or just stick with a nice, normal, quick squat here. We're just doing it to just get a little bit of cardio movement here. I'm like pointing the, the thing at the uh, computer thing that's gonna turn up the music when the music's over here. <laughs> All right. So, we're gonna start with just the left or right leg, it does not matter, you will do both. So all we're gonna do is step back into a lunge and then back up. So step back, then up, step back, then up. And no worries, just because they're lunges doesn't mean there's not pulses coming up. And this far, there will be pulses. Good. And I will let everyone know when those jump squats are coming up so you can make the choice of yourself of which one you want to do. I will show them again. When we get there, give me five. Four, three, two, last one, keep it down. Here's our pulses. So it's that fat, the same exact movement you were doing with the squat. That's we're in a lunge position, that knee is not going over the toe. And we're stepping back. That back knee does not have to go all the way to the ground. As long as we're filling in the quad, a little bit in the glute and hamstring area, then we are set. Make sure you're breathing. Unlike me, I like to hold my breath when I do my workout, so saying it for myself as well. Give me five, four, three, two, one. We're going to go into those jump squats. So you're either here or you are here. Either one, just start going. You can even do a mix of the two. That butt is sitting all the way back if you're in those jump squats. You're doing the raises. Same thing. Butt's coming back. We're just trying to get that heart rate up. Give me five, four, three, two, last one. Hold it here. Hold it low. Hold it low. Give me five, four, Three, two, one, switch legs. Wiggle it out, get water if you need it. I can grab mine, I put my way too far away. Yay. All right, so we're doing the opposite leg. I'll stay the same way, <laughs> so I can even notice. So you're going to be here, then back up. Again, we're just stepping back in those lunges. Take this time to breathe. Bring that heart rate back down a little bit. Three, five, four, three, two. Last one, hold it back there. Bring those pulses in. Clear away, still feeling good? Sweat a bit? My apartment is at like 68 degrees and I'm still sweating, so that would be a good sign. A good 
good, good on muscle work in here. Woo. Give me five, four, three, two. Last one, we're gonna go into those jump squats again. Again, you can be here instead if you'd like. Just go ahead and start. So you're just rising up on those toes if you're choosing to opt out of the jump squat. I'm doing so out of the sake of my downstairs neighbors. <laughs> I do know them and they also work from home, so I will be nice. <laughs> Again, that butt is really sitting back. Go ahead, give me five, four, three, two, last one. Hold it there. Hold it there. Five, four, three, two, and one. Good. Bring it on up. We're going to give the lunges a quick second here. Just to relax and to breathe. We're going to hit those squats a little bit. Make sure you're breathing. Nice deep breath. You're going to step one leg out first, but then point it to get back here so you guys can see. You're just going to lift it as high as you can and then back down. So, when that foot goes down to the ground, you just want the toe to just gently kiss the floor. We don't want it to, to rest there. It's just a nice light tap. It's barely even touching. And your classically ballet trained like myself, your hip may turn out, that's totally fine. Or you can just have it straight on. Give me five, four, three, two, one. Hold it there. We're just going to do little pulses. So it's just a small lift. If you need the wall or a chair, hold on to that. That standing leg has a slight bent in it. Don't walk it out. You will pass that on me, and it won't be because the workout was hard. It's because you lost to me. Five, four, three, two, and one. Bring it now. Wiggle it out. Other side. We're going to lift. Lower. Lift. Lower. It's just time to catch your breath. We only got one more leg, I think. And then we'll move on the arms. I try to get the legs out of the way first. They're the hardest thing to do. Mainly because there's two of them. So anything you do, you got to do it twice. We got three, two, one. Hold it out there and pull. 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 Woo! Funny, the song is called Fire Under My Feet. So pretend there's a fire underneath that foot. Just keep it up nice and high. Pulse it out. We got five, four, three, two, and one. Bring it down. Okay, one more leg thing. So, if you have that pillow, get it out. If you don't have that pillow, it's totally fine. I'm going to show you how to do it. So, it's just a nice small pillow. You'll see what we're doing with it with abs later. So, what I'm going to have you do is place that pillow on top of one of your thighs, preferably the one you just didn't work. So I'm going to go with the opposite leg here. You're going to knee down on it, okay? So we're going to step back into a nice lunge position here. So that back leg is back, and we're leaning on this pillow here, right? We're going to bring that leg in, back out. So again, that pillow is just packing the floor back there. It is, if anything, it's covering. We're not resting. We're putting all that weight in this standing leg. Happy? Good. Yeah. You don't want to go down that low on the pillow. You can also come here to make sure your hands are on your thighs. You're stepping back. But if not, that pillow's here, and that's where your hands are. On that pillow. But again, that squat is nice and low in that standing leg. Pressing through that heel, you got five, four, three, two, and one. Good. We're going to switch legs. I'll turn to the side here so you can see again. That pillow's going to go right here. If not there, just your hand. So you're going to go ahead and step back into that lunge, but you're here. And tap. Tap. 
Again, it's a tap. And don't place those hands on that knee. So it's up here on the thigh. You never want to put pressure on a joint. Especially not a ball and socket. <laughs> Keep pressing. Whew. Really putting all that weight in that standing leg again. Probably feel those hamstrings a little bit on fire, a little bit in the glute. You're feeling it in your lower back. Engage that core some more. So basically pull that belly button into the spine. Make sure you're breathing. Give me five, four, three, two, and one. Good. Bring it down. Wiggle it out. Wiggle it out. Wiggle it out. Okay. We're going to stretch out the legs just a little bit before moving into the arms. So as long as your heart rate is still a little high, we're going to keep that head above above the heart here. So make us number four with your legs here. If you need a wall or you'd like to sit to do this, you can as well. And just lean in towards that leg. Give it a nice gentle press down between the knees right here. So on the calf and the inner thigh, that's where you're pressing, not on that knee. Wiggle it out. And we're just going to switch. Ha! Ah. So legs are over. <laughs> legs are over and I'm sweating in my 68 degree cold. So I'm guessing that this is going pretty well. So <laughs> we're going to start on some arms. I'm going to um, bring my mic down here with me so you guys can hear um, me okay because I'll be down on the floor. So to get there, we're going to reach up. We're going to walk on down to a nice high plank. Stepping those feet back, and we're going to go nice and wide. So, you want a wide stance here. Now, if this is a lot, you can always bring it down to the knees. Just make sure you do bring the feet up and cross. We're going to tap the shoulders here. So, tap, 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 tap. And if it's a lot on the knees and you're on a hard surface, again, you can bring in that pillow. Place it down. See, at least have a little bit of a cushion. Just be careful. So let's pick up those, those taps here. A little quicker. Give me five, four, three, two, black one on each arm. Bring those hands in a little bit more narrow. So we almost want them in a nice little parallel here. You can come down to your knees for this. These are hard. Do tricep push-ups. So if these are also a little too difficult, you can always take a triangle shape with your hands and then do the push-ups that way. If not, we're right here. So those hands are going to come right, right close by the body instead of wide like a traditional push-up. So you're either here, press up, or your triangle and press up. Whichever one you choose, that's what we're doing. So go ahead and start. And with those tricep push-ups, you don't have to go crazy low. Um, as long as you're feeling it in the back parts of your arms, you are set to go. Give me five, four, three, two, last one, hold it down there, and little tiny pulses for five, four, three, two, and one. Good. Bring it back into child pose. Stretch it out there for a second. Get those shoulders a nice good little stretch out. We're going to head flat on our stomach. We'll lay kind of diagonal so you guys can see. Well, so your hands are going to go out in front of you. So just like this. Your upper body's gonna be up, but the head's gonna be facing down. I'm only looking this way so I can see you guys. So you're gonna be here, and you're going to pull and straighten back out. Pull through that back and straighten back out. And those feet are staying nice and flat on the floor. You're squeezing through that lower back and into those shoulders with those arms. If that is a lot, you can stay right here and just do normal Superman. But if there are no shoulder issues, I do challenge everyone to be here. 
Give me five, four, three, two, and one, and hold it back here. We're just gonna hold that position. If you can, bring those feet up off the ground. Make a nice little U shape with your body. Little boat here. For five, four, three, two, and one. Good. Bring it down. Push it out. We're gonna go into out, which I think is what bar is mostly known for is woo, the core aspect of it. So. I'm lucky for you guys, it's my favorite part of it. Um, so this is where your pillow is gonna come in, play, in handy. If you do not have a pillow, you can do all these things without it, um, and I will show you how. But if you do have a pillow, I want you to kind of almost sit right on that pillow. So again, if you're on a hard surface, just be careful, it may fly. Feet are flat in front of you. Arms are gonna come out nice out in front of you. And we're gonna lean back to our lowest position here. If that's still a lot, even with the pillow, you may grab underneath the leg, not on top, but underneath, to keep you stable. We're going to go low and up. Low and up. So we're reaching past those knees with our fingertips. Those feet are staying nice on the floor. We're filling that shape all the way through movement. These are kind of fun though, right? You can do these in front of your TV while watching the news or right before bed, just right beside the bed. Give me five, four, three, Two, one, stay nice and low in this position. All we're doing now is just focusing in on those obliques. So the side abs here, we're going to bend and tilt, bend and tilt. So you're really just twisting off to the side, bringing that elbow as far back behind you as you can. Back to that low start position. Those abs should be consistently working through the whole movement. And tap. We're almost there. Ooh. Give me five, four, three, two. Last one on each side. So if you start out on this side, make sure you get one more in on the other side. We're going back to those low crunches here. So back to that first set of stuff. Just to flush out those abs here. We're leaning and crunching. So if you start to feel it in your neck, think about really engaging that core. You may place two fingers behind the head to keep those elbows nice and wide for none of this, it's this. Or you can place those hands back behind the knees to give you a little assist up. But try your best not to touch them. We're almost there. Five, four, three, two more. Last one right here. We're going to remove the pillow, place it completely out of the way. We're going to flip over to the opposite side. So to your stomach, forearms go down on the ground. Feet Completely out. We're in a nice plank here. And we're going to hold. So make sure that those butts are down and backs are flat. So we're going to shift forward into those shoulders and then back into the heels. So it's just a nice little rock motion. If that's too much, just stay in that plank or you can easily go on back on the knees. So you're just shifting forward. Shifting back, shifting forward, shifting back. Five, four, three, two, and one. Bring it on down. 
we're going to get into the glutes just a little bit. Can't have bar and not do glutes. So we're going to start here on our side. Make sure you're nice and comfortable. One leg is going to go up in front. So did you see that right there? We're going to lift up and cross in front. If that is a lot, you may hold that ankle there in place. So the bottom leg is completely straight. So the bottom leg, straight, flex forward, back top leg over top. We're just gonna lift and lower, lift and lower. So you can flex the foot, you can point the foot, whatever is most comfortable and natural to you. You can change it up as you go. They do both do very different things. One's gonna engage a little bit more, such as the flex foot's gonna engage that quad just a teeny bit more than that flex foot would. Whatever you do, do not, as my ballet teacher said, dead fish that foot, meaning that it just looks like a dead fish hanging off the end of your leg. Do not do that to me. Keep that foot either flexed or pointed. Give me five, four, three, two, one. Hold it up there a little bit off the ground and pulse it. Pulse, pulse, pulse. Five, four, three, two, one. Keeping with that leg there, we're going to lay down on our back. The leg that is just lifting is going to come up. The leg that was in front is going to go out. The leg. We're going to lift and lower. Lift and lower. If that is a lot, you may bring that other leg down to the ground. Help get you back up. If not, I want you to challenge yourself to keep that leg straight so the hips should be even. And we're trying to press that glute as high up into the air as we can. So we're pushing those hips forward. Give me five, four, three, two, and one. Go bring it down. I'm going to switch before going into the rest of the glute bridges that I have planned. So. Opposite leg now is straight, back leg to the front. So what other, whatever leg you didn't work before, flex the point that foot and let's start to lift. Lift, 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 lift. Give me five, four, three, two, one. Hold it up there and pulse. Pulse, 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 pulse it out. And you'll find out one leg is stronger than the other right here. This is my weaker leg. Five, four, three, two, one. Good. Bring it down. So again. That leg goes to down the ground, push it up. The leg that was in front goes out. Lift, lower, lift, lower. So we got this one leg we bridges here. We're almost done. Key five, four, three, two, one. Hold it there. And bring it down. So we're going to stay down here. We're going to work those glutes just a little bit more here before we start to stretch out. So here we're going to lift up onto those heels. So toes are going to go up into the air. And we're going to press up into that glute bridge, all the way down, leaving enough room underneath that bum to place a hand underneath. So it's just really going to be covering the ground. We're not coming all the way down. So those hips and glutes are staying engaged the whole entire movement. So we're pressing up and down. And you're up on those heels, engaging those hamstrings and those glutes even further. Give me three, two, and one. We're going to come all the way up and we're going to hold it. We're just going to do tiny, small pulses upwards. So those hips are going to be pressing up, up. So you're consistently contracting those glutes, pressing through those heels still. Three, two, 
One, bring my leg in, out, in, out. Now we're getting those hip flexors involved. The foundations of the glutes. You're squeezing through those outer hips. Think about something that's trying to press those legs back together and you're trying your best to pull it apart. Give me five, four, three, two, one. We're going to switch onto the toes. So we're not coming out of that glute, we're just pressing into the toes now. We're coming down and up, down and up. We're almost there. Make sure you're squeezing and engaging that core to keep everything nice and steady. We're resting through those glutes into the quads a little bit here. Give me three, two, one. Hold it up. Bring the legs in and out last time. So we're up on those toes again. That same concept applies. Think about something trying to push your legs back together and you're trying to pull it apart. If you have a band, feel free to use that next class. Press those hips up into the ceiling as high as you can. Hold that glute bridge just nice and steady all the way up. Try to press just a little bit more at your last five seconds. Four, three, two, and one, very gently bring it down. And relax, because class is almost over. <laughs> so we're just going to stretch everything out. So go ahead, I'm actually gonna scoot back this a little bit so you can see me. Place so one leg in, one leg out. We're gonna reach up and over, stretching towards that foot. You can keep the foot flexed or pointed, it's up to you. Grab a hold of that foot if you can and twist the body, bringing the head down to the knee. Very gently, one vertebrae at a time, roll yourself up. Switch. So, starting with that flex foot, just reach up and over. Grabbing that foot and just turning to your side here. One vertebrae at a time, roll on up. Bring the soles of the feet together, nice and tight towards the body if you can. And we're just going to lean over, trying to bring the head to the toes. If you would like a deeper stretch and you feel comfortable doing so, you can place your hands on top of the knees or if you can grab right here and just do a gentle press down on the calf and the inner thigh part. Never on the joint. Very gently, one vertebrae. And a time roll up, place the feet out in front of you, reach up and over, grab the toes if you can, if not, grab the ankles, calf, whatever you can get a hold of. Give a nice good stretch here, head is down. Slowly roll up one vertebrae at a time. Deep breath up and over and try to get as close do those legs as you can this time to try to get a little bit deeper. I'm going to walk up to the computer and get attendance. Unless you've already done that for me. Let's see. All righty. And come on up. So very gently, whenever you're ready, come to a nice standing position. We're just going to find a wall that you have, place it up, grab the leg, pulling in just a little bit, just to give those quads a little stretch here. 
then place the leg out in front of you. Give a nice little stretch forward. And then other side whenever you're ready. Take the foot out and down. And wiggle it out. So I am so happy that you guys were able to come to my first bar class. Do any other stretches that you may need. If you have any questions, I will be here um, to answer them for the last little bit. Hopefully you guys enjoyed it okay. You can always unmute and